I will show you five lazy ways to solve Sudoku that may actually be faster and easier for you. And with that, it's solving time. So the first way to be lazy about solving and not have to put too much effort into it is to fill up almost complete houses. Look across row five. This row has seven digits filled out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. You just need a one and an eight. Well, with the eight right here, you can solve that cell for a one and solve this cell for an eight. Greetings, friend. Are you tired of filling out a bunch of Sudoku cells and then having to erase or remove the marks over and over? And do you feel like your Sudoku grids are so full of clutter that you have a hard time finding the next solve? Well, I'm going to show you five lazy ways shortcuts that work on certain puzzles so you do not have to waste any extra effort on them. And now the question of the day. When is the time that you feel like being lazy? Today it's raining outside so I don't really want to go outside or run any errands. Uh, I'd rather just stay inside and solve Sudoku. What about you? Please, please share with me and help me grow the internet's best Sudoku community. I answer every comment and I would love to hear from you. So way number two to be lazy about Sudoku is to check the difficulty level. This puzzle is easy and if you know the difficulty level you know there are certain strategies you should look for and certain ones you don't have to worry about. With this puzzle being easy I know there's going to be lots of hidden and naked singles which require no marking and are quite easy to find. For example, look at these two nines in rows one and two and this nine in column one. There's only one place to put a nine in block one. That's an easy hidden single to solve. And then if you look up here in this cell, you may notice what can it be? Well, it can't be a one, a two, a three, a four, five, seven, eight, or a nine. So this is a naked single. Six, it's the only value that can go in there. Didn't have to do any extra marking. And then this brings me up to way number three to be lazy. Don't mark, make no marks other than solving the cells. Marks waste time, they're tedious. Uh, you have to be quite diligent to put them all in. But the less marks you have, the less actions you are actually performing. You feel like you make progress by putting marks in, but if there's no reason to put a mark in, don't do it. So like with these two sixes, and this six, you know right away you can solve this cell for a six. You don't need a mark where sixes can go in the block. And you want to turn your attention to solves that don't require extra marks. Okay, how about if you stay right here in block seven now? Where can a two go? With this two right here and this two cutting across, only one place for a two. So you can solve that for a two. And then this brings me now with this two here and way number four. Way number four to be lazy is to focus on row, column, and block. And so this is going to help you from to stop scanning all over the place and have busy eyes looking all over the grid. You don't need to do that. So RCB I call it. Whenever you make a solve, look in the row, the column, and the block. So you're just going to be looking up, across, and down. You're not going to scan the entire grid and waste a lot of time scanning. So with these twos, you're right here, you made this solve for a two, scan over to the right. With those twos and this two, solve for a two right there in block nine. And now follow the twos. You know you're solving a lot of twos. There's only one place for a two in block three. And now there's only one place a two can go that hasn't been marked yet. With these twos and this two, solve for two right there. And that's all of the twos. So let's use RCB back to block seven. Did we finish everything you could do in block seven? Not really. With these sevens, you can solve for seven here. The reason you want to do this is you already have a bunch of restriction. You're adding to it every time you solve a cell. It's going to be easier to make the next solve. So take that seven and notice that with these two sevens, you can solve for seven right here in block eight. There's two sevens here. I'm not going to mark that because I can look up and see with these sevens now on the hem for sevens that has to be a seven right there which allows you to solve for this cell for a seven and to go with this seven you can solve the last seven here in block six see no marks 
and we are quickly getting through this puzzle. And now you can switch back to way number one. You look for these almost complete houses. In this case, column nine. You have six cells filled out. Whenever you have five or more, it's worth seeing if you can finish up that block. You got one, two, three, four, seven, eight. You need a five, six, and a nine. And so you do a five, nine right here, nine repeated. You make a triple trick, I call it. That has to be your six. The nine can only go right there, and this is going to be your five. And this brings you up to way number five. In order to be lazy, try solving more than one cell at a time. Why look for each individual cell and move to the next? We can solve three at one time using my neat naked triple trick. Look down in here. You have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. You just need a one, three, and a five. Well, the five covers two of the three empty cells, and a one looks at one of those. Whenever you have that situation, you can solve all three. This has to be your three. The only place the five can go is right there, and this is going to be your one. And now you solve three cells very quickly. And now go back to way number one. You got an almost finished block here. You know what those ones. You can solve that for a one pretty quickly and solve this cell now for a six. And then let's do three solves in a row here in this block. You got a one, two, four. Six, seven, eight. You just need a three, five, and a nine. Three covers both of these cells. The nine covers that one as well. You can solve all three. That's your five. Only place the three goes right there. This has to be your nine. And now we're going to circle between all those five different ways to solve the rest of this puzzle. Because you're just going to get more restrictions, which is way number one. And then going on, you know, way number two, looking for the difficulty level, expecting just to see naked and hidden singles. Look across row eight, you got a guaranteed solve right here. That has to be an eight. And then you just have two cells remaining. Looks like a four and a five. Pull the five down. So there's a five, there's a four. And the more filled out the column is or the row is, that's what you want to do. And then RCB, you made this change. You want to look straight up here, right? Just need a one and a three. Got the one right here. So there's your one, and there's going to be your three in the corner. Bum, bum, ba. Okay. Made a bunch of restriction in block one now. You need a four and an eight. You can pull the four up here. So there's your four, and there is your eight. I'm expecting nothing but hidden naked singles. That's way number two. Way number three, not going to do any extra marks. And then, of course, way number four, whatever you make a solve, do the RCB. In this case, let's look at the rows. These eights here come across the row. That's got to be an eight right there. And then it just leaves you with a three and a four right here. You can pull that three up. So here's your three. Here's your four. The only thing left is going to be a one. Now RCB come on down here. And you just have these three cells to worry about in the column. You have the impact here. Just need a four, eight, and a nine. I see the nine right there. So that's got to be the 9. This is going to be a 4 and an 8. I'm too lazy to mark that, so I'm just going to move somewhere else, right? What can I move instead? I can come over here and go, I haven't solved the last digit in this full house. So you can solve that for a 3 now. And then what can be here? Just need a 1 and 9. Well, there's your 9. So that's a 9. That's got to be the 1. Okay, and now with these 1s and this 1, so all for one right there. Just create those restrictions. I remember four and an eight. I see an eight here. I know I'm going to solve all three of these cells because that has to be your four. That's your eight, and that's going to be your four. Okay, keep looking for the most restrictions. Can we do neat naked triple trick right here? One, two, three, four, seven, nine. Looking in the block, you have five, six, and an eight. Five, six right there means this has to be your eight. I can't do the five and the six easily unless you look up and notice that because of this five that has to be your five and that's going to be your six okay bring these two sixes up solve this for a six now and then you look you got three more cells here let's solve them all together you just need a three four and a five three covers both of these cells and the four also covers that one you can solve all three that's got to be your five the only place the three goes right there and this is going to be your four now see how lazy you can be and still solve this next puzzle. Thank you so much for watching.